Minister of Planning and Development Camille robinson Regis has laid in Parliament the Vision 2030 roadmap, which she says will guide the country into the future. She says government is seeking the highest level of collaboration in order for the document to be accepted. Barry Therese Bernard has more. Vision 2030, a planning document for the country, was presented in Parliament by the Planning Minister Camille robinson Regis. She explained, unlike the 2020 Vision document, this document is being laid in Parliament in order to obtain the widest possible views on it. That we do so principally to deepen the consultative process which this government has embarked upon and to signal to the country the return of strong, robust planning which looks beyond the boundaries of five-year election cycles to a time perhaps when none of us who presently occupy these seats will be present. She said this approach has been taken to deepen the consultative process and to move beyond the boundaries of five-year election cycles. She said it was only with the efforts of two employees she described as patriots at the Ministry of Planning that the work documents and the CDs of the thousands of stakeholders who contributed to Vision 2020 were saved. There can be no denying, Madam Speaker, that a country cannot and will not achieve sustainable progress if successive governments, without good reason and alternatives, abandon the carefully and collaboratively constructed vision of their predecessors. The Vision 2030 document will be scrutinized by a bipartisan parliamentary committee and then brought back to the lower house for debate. I indicate that this strategy document will be subjected to the scrutiny of a joint select committee of the parliament and debated after in this honorable house so that the country can in the long run benefit from the collective wisdom resident in this august house. It is the government's hope that after the widest possible consultation, the Vision 2030 will be accepted by all and followed through even if there is a change of administration. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.